I am Edie Malley. I'm a 2024 graduate from Earlham College, and I'm gonna be watching a video that I did freshman year at the very beginning. I am Edie Malley. Um, I'm a freshman here at Earlham, class of 2024, um, and I am from Columbus, Ohio. I plan on majoring in women's studies, as well as either PAGS, Peace and Global Studies, or politics. Just talking to Oh, that's so funny. I came in really thinking I was gonna be a double major. Um, quickly learned that was not gonna be the case. Dropped the PAGS in politics, but I did actually end up majoring in women, gender, and sexuality studies, and I absolutely adore that. Knew it from the beginning. That would be my, my thing. <laughs> Just talking to the people on campus, seeing the campus, I didn't really interact with too many students, but the ones that I did, they just, the energy here, the, like everyone cares about social justice. Everyone tr is trying their best to be environmentally sustainable, which is something I just wasn't seeing at other schools. There were other great schools that I was visiting and they had like great academics and great professors and a great campus, but this was the one that I felt was really moving um, the best way into the future. So I- Oh, I, I stand by everything that I said there. I, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I came to Erlen for the people. I came to Erlen for the environment and the community here is what makes Erlem Erlem. The people here have helped turn me into who I am today and helped me gain confidence, helped me like learn how to navigate so many different things. And really we do, we have that energy. We have that collective community that like we really kind of stand by each other in a way that I think is so beautiful. And from my friends that I've heard at other universities, Sure, it exists, but not the way that we do it here. <laughs> I'm a Bonner Scholar, um, and all of the Bonner freshmen this year for our service site were volunteering up at Miller Farm on campus. <laughs> um, so I'm still a Bonner Scholar. Um, unfortunately, our program was sunset, so we're the last ever class of Bonners here. Um, and we all started at Miller Farm, and it's so funny, I never knew that that was gonna be such a huge part of my life, but I lived in the farm theme house sophomore year, uh, even convened it my second semester. I've moved into leadership there and like Miller Farm is one of the most beautiful, unique spaces and ended up kind of helping me figure out what my career path is gonna be. I'm gonna be going into doing urban gardening and farming with teens never would have known that was a passion of mine if I had not started at um, Miller Farm that first semester. Um, so we go out there a couple hours every week um, and we're weeding and harvesting um, stuff so that we can sell it at the farmer's market on Saturdays. Um, I am also a part of theater here. Um, I'm maybe planning on minoring in theater. I'm I just took a course this past seven weeks um, and I'll probably take another one in the spring. Seven week terms. Oh no. Oh, thank God we were able to move past that. That was that was rough. Just trying to fit an entire semester into seven weeks. That was absolutely insane. It's much better with full semesters. Spring. Um, then I also joined the rugby team. Gotta stop for that. I did join the rugby team the very beginning of my freshman year. I am now the captain of the rugby team and the convener. Um, and rugby has been and continues to be and will continue even after I graduate to be one of the most beautiful communities I've ever joined. Um, it is full of a absolutely supportive group of people with a wide range of um, like in or of experience with sports. And we're all just like, hanging out and trying to feel strong and improve ourselves together. We're super queer and um, we've recently had to fight a lot to support our trans students on the team as well. And we've really made it a safe space for queer and trans students. And that's been a really huge honor of mine to be able to hold that space on this campus. And I have amazing underclassmen who are gonna be taking it over next year. Super proud of them. 
So I'm trying to get a sense of all the opportunities that are here um, and look into the other clubs and activities that I could be a part of. I think Earlham is gonna really help me with making connections especially and giving me the tools to go into something either in the nonprofit sector or going into local politics. I'm very interested at um, kind of like state local level politics. I think there's a lot of change that's made there and it gets overlooked quite often because it's on a smaller scale. Um, and I'm also really yeah, yeah, I'm definitely still interested in the nonprofit sector. Politics, I'll engage with that as, as a civilian, as someone just living, not gonna become a politician anymore. <laughs> I'm also really interested in um, nonprofit, especially working with women or the LGBTQ plus community or kids, something um, kind of in that era. Wow, it's... It's so funny to see myself as this little freshman. I remember taking this video. I was like so excited to get um, the video taken freshman year. And I like was just beginning to find myself on this campus and to find my place in this community, just trying out some of the things and some of them really stuck um, and have ended up being a huge part of my life. Um, and I'm so appreciative for that and for the space that Earlham has provided for that, for students to really connect and define themselves. Um, I think if I, uh, if I were to talk to this version of myself now, I would say, trust yourself and it's okay to make mistakes. I was very self-critical as I think a lot of people are and it, it all worked out in the end. We're just moving forward, we're all human, and yeah, we're just here to make connections, we're here to have experiences and figure out what we wanna do with our lives, and I think that's, that's really beautiful.